Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to talk about whale watching in Bitcoin news today. Is that a bull whale run I see on the horizon? We're going to look at some of the things that have happened recently that might be indicating the whales, those who have deep pockets with Bitcoin, are expecting Bitcoin to take off and do spectacularly. In fact, the question really arises, are they setting up a bull run? Let's take a look at the information that we have today. Watch to the very end. This is going to be an excellent video. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Now, should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. That's what this channel is all about. Can we get 99 likes on this video? Smash the like button. Hey, it really makes a huge difference. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. Let me underline that. I'm not a financial advisor. My background is actually in computer science and computer programming. So this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. Now, cryptocurrency involves substantial risk of loss. So be sure to read the rest of this disclaimer. The truth is this disclaimer would apply to any investment you're making, not just cryptocurrency. So always be careful and make wise decisions or at least do your best to make the best decisions possible. Don't just take my word for it, but do your own research. Dig into it a little bit before you start uh, investing your own money. All right. So we're going to talk about bull whales. Now, a bull whale is a male whale. And I think it's really interesting that for years, the stock market has talked about bull and bear markets. And <clears throat> when you talk about a whale, whether it's in stocks or crypto, you're talking about somebody that's investing a lot of money. And in this case, we're looking at an image of a sperm bull whale. And the bull whales are always the largest whale of that species. So the male whale is always bigger than the female whale. And so it's quite interesting that the term bull is associated with the male whales or associated with whales in particular as we're dealing with this topic. So I just thought that was kind of interesting, not really pertinent to what we're getting into. Um, in a Twitter post just recently, Ki Young Ju uh, and I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. I may have butchered it, but he posted this on Twitter and I thought it was worth talking about. Back in 2018, in fact, really, we're looking at August of 2017 before Bitcoin hit its all-time high of just under $20,000 per Bitcoin. You can see that all of a sudden there was a huge spike where the whales were taking their money off of the exchanges. And so this, this graph, this orange chart, this orange line on the chart shows you the amount of Bitcoin that whales are withdrawing from the exchanges. Now what happens when a whale withdraws their money from the exchanges? That means that the exchange actually has less Bitcoin for buying and selling purposes. And when there's less Bitcoin on the exchanges, then small changes have a bigger impact. So uh, when the whales are, are buying and selling on the exchanges, then you need to have more money in order to push the price up or move the price down. But when the whales remove their assets, the liquidity on that exchange goes down. And that means that a small, uh, it doesn't take nearly as much money uh, buying Bitcoin to push the price up or selling Bitcoin to push the price down to make a big difference in the price. And you can see, if you actually go back and start looking at some of the stats, we'll find that typically when the whales are moving their money off of the exchanges, which is what this number here shows, within about four months, we see a significant bull run. So in this particular case, the whales took their money out of the exchange in mass on August 7, 2017. And you can see right here, four months later, 
a bull run began and that's when Bitcoin actually hit its all-time high. Now this mark right here is, uh, is somewhere in the middle of November 2017. It's early November 2017 is where this line is actually being drawn. And you can see Bitcoin went from at this point uh, when the whales were pulling their money out, Bitcoin was right around $33,396 and then spiked all the way up to $20,000. Now the same thing happened back in 2019 when we had that jump almost hitting the $14,000 mark for Bitcoin. And you can see here four months prior that the whales also spiked this graph by pulling their money out of the exchanges and it happened right here as the price was dropping in 2019. So this was December 9th, 2018, the whales, the price of Bitcoin was dropping. The whales were buying in and then pulling their, their new crypto off the exchange and putting it into their hardware wallets or whatever wallet, whatever they were using for storage at the time. Because um, some of them, there's, this is kind of interesting. There's, I, I've heard stories that there's actually vaults built in the center of mountains that are storing Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin isn't a physical thing, so my understanding is, is they would be storing it on a hardware wallet, and the hardware wallet's located in a vault in the middle of a mountain. Just, just kind of a bit of trivia. I thought that was quite interesting. Anyway, that's not why we're talking about all of this, but rather we see that Bitcoin actually bottomed out at around 3,572 and that's right around the time that the whales started in large quantities pulling their Bitcoin off of exchanges. And you can see four months later, it started a new bull run to the, to the all-time high for 2019. Now, those numbers are significant and if you take a look at what just happened this year, we're seeing the same sort of thing. So Bitcoin tanked uh, in March because of the pandemic. It looks like the whales bought up a significant supply of Bitcoin when Bitcoin was down in the tank. And then once they had purchased it, they started moving that crypto off of the exchanges, producing uh, less liquidity on the exchanges themselves which is gonna give us an opportunity for greater velocity. Now we haven't hit the four month mark. And so, but if this holds true, then somewhere around July 18th, we should see Bitcoin starting to make a climb to a new all time high. Now, will it exceed the 20,000 mark? I sure as heck hope so, but time will tell. I do feel really confident that we're gonna see Bitcoin pass the $14,000 mark. And in my opinion, and, and this really, I, I can't tell you how many times I've been wrong. So uh, while, while my opinion is my opinion, it's also not always right. Anyway, I think we're going to see Bitcoin go way past the $20,000 mark, partially because of the halving, the halving that just happened recently. So anyway, that's my video for you today. How can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions, thoughts, comments? I'd love to hear from you. Maybe you disagree with something that I said. Look, you know things I don't know. I know things you don't know. And when we share with each other what we know, we're gonna learn and grow. And I wanna learn and grow from you. So please share your polite disagreements in the comment section and I, I will do my best to reply to them. I try to reply to all the comments that people post online. So in the meantime, like, subscribe, and hodl. And hey, do me a favor, have a fantastic day.